Hi, this is Paul Meezy. I am at Salt Spring Island Metal Recycling, John Quinnell's business. Just going to do a little video of what's going on here and sort of check things out. Here is um, where they take the, put the cars up in the hoist and take all the fluids out of them. I've got a little electronics thing going on here. Recycles electronics. There's the light. There's this strips wire. No. Here's the good old tire machine that I'm always on every weekend. Everybody's caught up on everything for me. And now, I don't know, this area is totally cleaned up. I don't know, there's used to be stuff all along here, a bunch of tires all in there. You know. Really cleaned up everything. And here's, there's the two bins that the metal goes in. All those containers there are for like different aluminum and different stuff that he recycles. Yeah, they were doing a lot of rims. Oh, there's a car that's being crushed. At least he goes through, I don't know how many cars a week, probably seven or eight cars a week that come in and get crushed and all the fluids drained. And, and then he's got all this cement pad, if you look back here, the two bins and everything's built on this cement pad here that uh, it all drains into a septic field over here, or a septic system. And it's a double filter. Where is it? You showed it to me. Yeah, here. Here, are these tanks here are different. I don't know, does he have it open? That's an oil bath tank. He catches it with the rags. Then it goes to another one of sand and another one before it goes anywhere near the environment or the. cost him quite a few dollars. Take you up to the upper yard. And then he's got a gate that's kind of a drive through. And as you can see, we're right under the power lines. Like there it is. There's the power line. You know, this this land cannot be used for agricultural and probably not even really residential. Really. Like heavy residential. And then up here he's got his excavator for crushing everything. Looks like they're gonna crush this car. He does campers and all kinds of stuff for everybody. And it goes in from there into the two bins. And those two bins go out once a week. These two bins are full of metal and each bin is about 15 to 18,000 pounds. So you figure 30, roughly between 30 and 40,000 pounds of metal goes off the island a week. And if you times that by 52 weeks, it's it's well over two million pounds. And here's he's got some kind of set up here. That's a little Quonset, and then that's his parts bus. Uh, parts bus. Of course, there's my place. Yeah, you know. John's a definitely a very honest businessman, doing a good part for the environment. That's kind of all the different scrap metal stuff, that aluminum. And you just put this gravel in. This is really cleaned up. And even in the month that I've been here, it's like, or two months I've been here, living here. It's incredible how much money, how much he's cleaned up. Anyway, that's 
my YouTube video. Something else, and we get a shot of big bad John here. I mean, he's not really that big bad of a guy, really. He's actually quite a nice guy. There you go, big bad Jones. Islands Trust Office. And he weighs everything, like he weighs the copper and the metal here. Buys it off people for $2 a pound for the copper. I don't know how much the wire is, but you can see he just does quite a bit of... All the plumbers bring their copper pipe and stuff. Yeah, it's quite the little setup he's got. I'm really impressed. Anyway, ciao for now. And my next YouTube video. That's yeah, 2013. And of course, I'll always say, Om Mani Padme. Om. Om Mani Padme, Om Mani.